power of your house. Now look, we're gonna read about the power of your house in Numbers chapter 12. Go ahead, brother. Numbers 12 and 1. And Miriam and Aaron spake against Moses because of the Ethiopian so, so they woman. Was, they was talking shit. They was talking shit against the real men of the Lord. Because Moses, before he came into this truth, he was dealing with the Ethiopian woman. Now, there's a lot of us that came into this truth and we was already dealing with women, man. Right, right, right. right. So what you gonna say? I'm one of them. I got kids by a heathen. Yeah. What I'm gonna do? What you, you know what I'm saying? Go pick this up before, a woman? Before the truth, before he even came in, you gonna talk shit about him though? Right. He still teach the same gospel. Yep, yep. He's still, still speaking the same thing. So this what this Aaron and Moses sitting there talking to, I mean uh, Aaron and Miriam sitting there talking to this Moses. Go ahead, read. For he married an a, a Ethiopian woman. So he married he married one of them Cushites, man. Yeah. Popped him. Okay, uh, meaning he was all into that thing, yeah. man. Yep. Now, by the way, Tony Smith, let's get back on you, Tony Smith. Mm -hmm. <laughs> talking about marriage ain't ain't having sex with a woman. Now wait a minute. Now, Hagar hey. was already Abraham's concubine, is that correct? Pursuant to Genesis, right? Right, 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 yeah. But guess what? She didn't become his wife until Sarah told him to take her. Right, that's right. That's, that's, true. That's, right. that's true. That's right. All right? Just so you know. True. All right? It wasn't, you didn't need no extra shit. Yeah, yeah. All Sarah had to do was yeah, say, hey, yeah. go ahead and get that. And he went ahead and got that, and she that's became right. his wife, that's man. Right. That's okay? Go ahead. Man, that's 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 chapter 16. In fact, let's get it, yeah, man. I got it. You know? <laughs> All right, go ahead, but no, no, stay where you at, stay where you at. For me to keep reading. Yeah, here. keep reading, no, you keep reading, brother. And they said, have the Lord indeed spoken only by Moses? Question, have, have he not spoken also by us? Yeah, that's that's what they asking, because they're like, well, wait a minute. How he, you know, he would a heathen, you know what I'm saying? How he, you know what I'm saying? How is he in the Lord's favor? Yeah. We, we out here doing the thing, too. We went out with Israel out of Egypt, too, yeah. you know? I, uh, Aaron probably saying every time Moses went to Pharaoh, I was with him. Yeah. You know, I had my staff too. Right. <laughs> yeah. You know how niggas are. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, I ain't calling Aaron a nigga, but you know how niggas are. Right. You know, go ahead. And the Lord heard it. Now the man Moses was very meek above all no, wait men. He had an Ethiopian woman, but he was still very meek. Above all men on the face of the planet, the scriptures say. Go ahead. Which were upon the face of the earth. But hey, but was he wicked? Did the Lord say, you know what, y'all right? Y'all right, Aaron. Y'all right. <laughs> Go ahead, brother. And the Lord spake suddenly up, up unto Moses and unto Aaron and unto Miriam. Come out, ye three, unto the tabernacle of the congregation. Mo <laughs> Listen, Moses didn't know nothing about it. Cause they was talking shit behind his back. Moses just doing his job. Moses is just going out teaching the children of Israel. You know he he he, he don't know that 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 his brother and sister talking shit about him. Right, right. That's why the scriptures say that the Lord spoke suddenly. Said, Look, y'all three, y'all come on out, man. I got something to tell y'all. Go ahead. And they three came out. And I, and I'm gonna prove to you that Moses didn't know. Okay. As you keep reading, go ahead. And the Lord came down in a pillar of, of a cloud and stood in the door of the tabernacle and called Aaron and Miriam, and they both came forth. And he said, Hear now my words. If there be a prophet among you, yep. I, the Lord, will make myself known unto him in a vision and will speak unto him in a dream. My yep. servant Moses is not so, who is faithful in all my house. Him, I will I speak mouth to mouth, right. even apparently, and not in dark speeches. Yeah, so Moses, did, he didn't get, like a, we'll tell you in Ezra that, that uh, Moses was given things to tell secretly and things to say plainly. But basically, you know what I'm saying, everything was broken down crystal clear to Moses. So there's a lot of things that Moses wrote from Genesis to uh, Genesis, you know, Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, Deuteronomy, you know, the whole, the, the so-called Pentateuch, you know? So, throughout them five books, there's things that is symbolic, man, that we don't even understand, man. But Moses understood them because he was, it was broken down to him plainly, man. Go ahead. And the similitude of the Lord shall be, behold, wherefore, 
then were ye not afraid to speak against my servant How Moses? were you not afraid to speak? Now, now, all types of great wonders have been wrought through the men of the Lord over the last few years. Okay? How were you not afraid to speak against them, man? Right. Go ahead. And the anger of the Lord was kindled against them, and he departed. No, but I thought it was kindled against Moses. Ooh, I, I, thought, I thought he was going off. Yeah, yeah. I thought Moses was breaking the law. Wait a minute. And yep. the anger of the Lord was kindled <laughs> against them. Okay. I just make sure you was reading it right, brother. <laughs> All right, go ahead. And he departed. <laughs> and the cloud departed from off the tabernacle. So the Lord, this is the Lord, you know how you know you get mad, you get mad at your woman and say, you know, you know what? Man, I got something for your ass. <laughs> and he just walk off. That's what the Lord did. The Lord was just so pissed off. You know what? All right. I got something for you. And he just went off. Go ahead. And the cloud departed from off the tabernacle, and behold, Miriam became leprous, white as snow. Turned her to a white woman. Yeah. Which you so infatuated. Which you so infatuated with. He turned her into a white woman, man. He turned her into the lowest of the low. All right? <laughs> He took her pigment, pigment away yep, yep, for yep. talking shit about the man of the Lord for dealing with a woman of the other nations, man. And that's why they were mad at him. Yep, yep. Go ahead. And Aaron looked upon Miriam and, and Moses. Behold. Moses is sitting there like, Moses probably like, yo, what the, you know what I'm saying? What the hell is going on? Go ahead. And Aaron looked upon Miriam and behold, she was leprous. Yep. And Aaron said unto Moses, Alas, my Lord, I beseech thee. Now, now all of a sudden, Aaron. No, no, no. no. <laughs> Aaron got righteous. <laughs> yeah, he, 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 he got right. Right. He groveling to his brother. He's like, look, Moses, I understand. You know, go ahead. Lay not the sin upon us wherein we have done foolishly and wherein we have sinned. Let her not. They sinned. Wait a minute. They, they, they sinned. sinned. Man. They sinned for talking shit about the man of the Lord dealing with a woman of the other nations, man. Mm -hmm. And it wasn't even that they were talking about that specific thing. It was that they were coming up against the man of the Lord, period. Right, right. right. That's, that's, that's the, what it was. That's yeah. the sin, okay? But they gave you the specific thing they were talking shit about. Right. So you sinned, <laughs> sinning, Gaynor. It showed show you that the Most High wouldn't with, he, he didn't give a damn about all that, man. Right. He didn't make it an issue that he was dealing with somebody from another nation. So why, especially knowing that we all had to come into the I truth. I, I don't know. That. Right. Later, why is you making it an issue? Yeah, you know, now I have brothers that got that, that dealt with women of other nations. They might still be dealing with a woman of other nation. It's not an issue, man. It's just different soil, man. Right, right. You right. plant your seed in whatever soil you want to plant your seed in. The white woman <laughs> is, 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 is one of the many different of, of the basket of holes that we're going to be able to get when I don't advise you to. Yeah, I mean, that's not, you know, <laughs> listen, honestly, really, it's not a big deal. Dealing with, it's not a big deal, but really, when you're in this truth, women shouldn't be a big deal yeah, anyway right, to right. you. Well, that shows it's a big deal to them. You know, you know? well, because they're women stealers. Yes, exactly. They're, they're, the reason why women are such a big deal to them is because guys like him, guys food. like Zabak, guys like Comfy, they're women stealers. Oh, yeah. They covet women. They, they covet cover. women, you know what I'm saying? They're, you know, you'll come in there with your woman, your woman looking all good. You got to, you, and they'll, they'll, okay, and they'll take her, man. That's why among us, that's a no-no. I don't know, I don't, I know what brothers women look like, but that's by accident, man. We don't need to know. You know what I'm right. saying? It's, it's by accident. Right. If I know what your woman look like, it's because I was over your house, and she just happened to walk in, and I don't even acknowledge that shit, man. Cause that ain't none of my business. That's your business, man. Right. That's when you went to the brother's house. He made sure she was gone. Yeah, when they came over, hey man, it wasn't no trace of a woman. Wow, you know. All right, that's it on that. Now, um, you got that in Genesis? Okay. Uh, cause we but we bouncing back and forth between different different preachers, so-called preachers. That's right. Go ahead. Uh, Genesis 16 and three, mm -hmm. and Sarah and Ab uh Sarah and Sarah Abraham's wife took Hagar, uh, her maid, the Egyptian, after Abraham had dwelt 10 years in the land of Canaan and gave her and gave her to her husband, Abraham, to be his wife. What, what hold on, wait a minute. 
Did, I thought she. It was going 